Hey, Daryl Jean. All right, let's go over a couple swings. So here's an iron swing, shaft plane, spine angle, not a bad hip tilt. Still like to get you to push your chest out, shoulders back, get that chin up a little bit more, see if we can't get a little bit better hip tilt out of you. And then just a little bit more flex of your knees. Your knees are a little too stiff right here. Back your knee to your spine angle, back your knee to your heels, your shoulder plane from the ball up through your shoulders, and then your head to make sure that head stays still. Left arm straight, right elbow relaxed, hands in front of your chest, going up in the air. Feels like that right shoulder is going up. Your left arm's extended because that right shoulder goes up. That club's got to go up the shaft plane line. So let's take it back. So right here, just pulling your hands and arms in just a little bit, going this way around. Keep that right shoulder going up in the air. See how that left shoulder is already starting to hit your chin? Look how your head's moving up this way. So you straighten that right knee a little bit. That left shoulder hits your head. That's making that head go up just a little bit here. Keep turning. So there's the back, top of your back swing. So there's that head. Once again, that right shoulder should be higher. Left shoulder should go right up. Now those hips, get that left pocket ro rotating behind you. That left knee follows the left hip. That feels like it straightened up, straightens up like it's going behind me. That right knee's got to stay flexed. It follows that left knee and it's driving to the target. All that weight should be on the inside of that right foot. So I'm firing all my momentum. I'm driving that weight towards the target because my hips are rotating. Now, my hands fall back down to the inside like this. That right elbow hits you in your side. So you're coming down here. Look at your head moving down. Your hands are coming down good. So right here, see where your hands are? See the shaft of the club? That's pretty close. I'd like it on your forearm, but you're really close right here. But again, your hips haven't turned much. You're doing everything with those hands and arms. And you're so strong and you're talented. Great hand-eye coordination. Got to get those hips rotating just a little more. Impact. So look at your chin right here. See how your chin's just buried into your chest? See how your back is hunched over here? So here, here's your spine angle at impact. Here's address, impact. So that right heel is just starting to come off the ground. The right knee just a little more flex. I like how we can see that left leg here. Your hips are rotating. That's awesome. Like that. Keep those hands moving out. And then they come around. Great extension. Hips turning. Club's coming out just a little below your shoulder. Ideally, it should come out here, but this is close. Keep turning. So now hands just a little close to your body. I'd like to see them a little higher. And then have that club fall back across the back of your neck. So you almost got it there. Now, you're on your right toe. That right knee is flexed. That left leg is straight. See how that, see how that left toe is off the ground? I don't tell people to do that. But when you rotate those hips and all that weight goes to that, the outside of your left heel, that's what's going to happen. Belt buckle's awesome. Again, not a horrible finish position. Very controlled. And then you're in excellent balance there. Slow motion. Back and through. And you hit that ball awesome. You hit some phenomenal shots. And again, we might not be perfect. We just want to get a little closer. So now let's get rid of the lines. Put a line on your chin, your forehead, the top of your head. Let's watch that swing without all those lines. Awesome. Just awesome. So now let's take a look at, I don't know 
know if this was a hybrid or a five wood. It might be your five wood. So we set it up the same way because I'm trying to do exactly the same thing. It's not going to feel the same. Shaft plane, spine angle, not bad. Chin out, chin up is not pretty, too bad. Chest out, shoulders back, just a little bit more flex of your knees. I just want to make sure that right knee stays gently flexed. Your shoulder plane line and then the circle for your head again. Keeping that head still. Left arm straight, right elbow relaxed, looks good. Hands in front of your chest, feels like that right shoulder goes up. Club should go up the shaft plane line. So right here, see how you're just flipping your wrist back just a little quick here. See the club head here, see the shaft of the club. Club head on the shaft plane line, hands right behind it. We don't want to see that shaft of the club. And you can see how tight your arms are. Look at your shoulders. See, they're more like a baseball swing right here. That's why you're pulling them in and around your body. Instead of that right shoulder going up in the air. And there's that left shoulder hitting your chin. Top of your back swing. Head's not too bad. Still like to see that right shoulder higher, though. There's a shaft of the club going back here. That right elbow just out, just a hair, but I can handle this. Now those hips. Left pocket, left knee, right knee driving to the target. That weight's on that inside of that right heel. Firing all your momentum towards the target. Get those hips rotating. And again, those hands falling back down to the inside. There's those hands coming down. Awesome, but see your head's moving back down. And now that chin's going down and you're going backwards. See how your hips are already starting to get off your spine angle? See that heel off the ground? Once again, that heel shouldn't be no more than that far off the ground at impact. Because right here, you're sliding your hips. You're not rotating. Now you're turning better. There's impact. Look at that chin buried down into your chest. There's your spine angle. Right heel should be barely off the ground at impact. Right knee's great, left leg's great. Keep those hands going out and around. Not bad extension, just flipped them just a little bit around. And then see how that right toe kind of slid? So right here, and again, I mean, that's not horrible, believe me. So there's your hands, shaft of the club, toe, right knee, left leg, belt buckle. Good looking finish position. And great balance. Slow motion. through and you killed that hit it awesome all right once again get rid of the lines chin forehead top of your head let's watch that swing So that's what we saw. So now you got to keep practicing that chipping. I mean, the way you hit the ball, you're going to be right around the green. We just got to get that, continue on with that good chipping because that's what's going to lower your score. You chip it closer, you make a couple of putts here and there, you get some confidence rolling. Like there should be, I mean, with your swing, I mean, to be honest, I'm. I'm guessing 76, 78 at the most. Low 70s I can see coming out of you. All right, so that's what we saw, man. Keep practicing, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.